Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, your final update. It's Thursday, December 21st. Let's take a look at what's in store over the next 24 to 36 hours. We are looking at the potential for widespread and locally excessive rainfall. That's gonna develop Thursday night and early Friday morning. It's gonna continue, it looks like, through Friday afternoon and even Friday evening as moisture wraps back in. So moisture is going to come up from the south quickly, Thursday night, showers, isolated thunderstorms. Then the storm is going to go by to the south and moisture is going to wrap in from the east over our region. Let's take a look at the highlights. All right, here is the summary. The slow moving Pacific storm that we've been monitoring for days, it's finally going to arrive Friday, drop just south of San Diego. Increasing showers and isolated thunderstorms Thursday night and early Friday morning. They won't end then. Uh, more showers and thunderstorms will form Friday afternoon. And then by Friday, late afternoon and evening, moisture will wrap back in to the region from the east. So first up from the south, then back in from the east as the low pressure goes to our south. That's the main upper level low pressure circulation. There are the rainfall totals. They generally have stayed the same. Okay, we had a little bit of rain Wednesday uh, evening, and we also had some rain uh, early Thursday morning. But... Uh, these are the additional rainfall and snowfall totals that we're expecting. The snow levels will finally come down on Friday, and especially Friday evening, as that moisture is still wrapping in. Some of the rain could be really heavy um, after midnight, Thursday night, and early Friday morning. And again, even occasionally on Friday because of additional showers and thunderstorms. So the outlook for next week still looks the same. Uh, dry weather until later next week in the holiday week as a strong powerful jet stream plows into central california and we'll get some of that down here here's the latest satellite imagery taken thursday afternoon the low pressure system and upper level atmosphere pretty clear there's energy on either side of it uh, you can see three different pockets one going down the back side one up the front side which will move through and develop all those showers thursday night and early friday then another one will round the bottom of it and come up into our desert areas Friday afternoon. The L itself will track uh, right south of San Diego. So uh, a lot of energy moving our way. So I included a slide here showing you the animation of what I just discussed. So sometimes it's easier to uh, visualize showers and thunderstorms developing pretty quickly Thursday night especially after midnight, rolling from San Diego all the way up into the Mojave Desert. Then we're going to see some more afternoon development Friday afternoon, even in the deserts and mountains. Then it kind of stalls and moisture gets thrown back over us. Okay, so three different processes going on as the storm goes by to our south. I'll let this loop go one more time for you, and you can see how quick it develops Thursday night and early Friday. Then more activity during the morning on Friday. Then uh, we see activity that really gets going in midday and then just continues and it looks like it'll be widespread even Friday evening, especially mountains and deserts Friday evening, tapering off on the coast. So here are the latest rainfall predictions. Notice the widespread yellow uh, that includes the deserts all the way up the Coachella Valley into uh, 29 Palms, Yucca Valley. So rain will be widespread and accumulating with showers uh, anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half locally higher as well. So this is additional rainfall Thursday night through Friday evening. Thus, we have the excessive rainfall outlook as painted here. Yellow is the highest threat for our region, okay? And that is uh, late tonight, Thursday night through Friday morning. And then it also expands yellow across the mountains and deserts, even into Friday afternoon and evening. Remember, I showed you how the precipitation develops there even early Friday, continues in the afternoon, and then more moisture wraps back in as the low pressure goes by to the south. This is the flood watch. You can go to this web page listed here and get the latest alerts. When they're issued real time, they'll show up on this map like the ones you see here in effect for the Santa Barbara area. These are some of the flood alerts that you may see. Currently a flood watch is in effect. Take a look at these closely um, if one is issued for your area.
the flush flood warning goes to the smartphone device called the wireless emergency alert process. It also can go to your TV and radio station through the emergency alert system. Uh, there will be snow, and I know snow levels have been up around 8,000 feet, but they're going to come down Friday. I think the most significant snowfall accumulation will be Friday afternoon and Friday evening, uh, especially when some of that moisture wraps back into our mountains. Snow levels should get down to around 6,500 feet. This is a depiction of weather model data averaged together. Just what I discussed with the satellite, there it is on the weather model data for today. By Friday, it shifts just south. So I'm showing you this to show the track of where it's going just south of San Diego. The jet stream will be very active. Right now, the jet stream is split into two. Polar jet going to the north, subtropical jet going to the south. Take a look what happens after Christmas. That subtropical jet really strengthens in the Gulf Coast, and the Pacific jet strengthens and shifts east targeting Northern California. And it's one consolidated Pacific jet stream too. So that could bring some active weather the end of 2023 and after Christmas. The outlook, well, we do expect weather to be remaining active, at least for central Northern California after Christmas. So after Christmas between the 27th and 31st. Latest outlook calls for very mild above average conditions and wet conditions for central Northern California. We'll get clipped by some of that. And this is that strong jet stream uh, that'll be moving into that region across the Pacific.